We're coming, guys. Don't worry. We're on our way. Just give it a few more seconds. We are back. Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston, and welcome to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is your hub for everything and anything relating to Jamaican football. Do you have a question? We have it right here. If you want the facts, we got it right here. If you want the absolute latest, we have it right here as well. If you want to know what is happening behind the scenes, we also have it right here as well because this is your place to come. This is your place to go. And this is where you get absolutely everything that you need to make your informed decision, opinion about any matter. So I'm sure by now you would all be aware that a decision has been made on Hubert Busby, the head coach of the Reggae Girls. He's been provisionally suspended. As it relates to the duration, we'll have to wait and see because the World Cup qualifiers for the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup will actually start in February. And Busby was speaking about a camp that he would love, love to have in Jamaica in November to get the girls familiar with the, the surfaces in Jamaica, the pitches and so on and so forth. So the, their first experience of coming to Jamaica wouldn't be a World Cup qualifier. It would just be a camp together so that they at least know the facilities and know exactly the type of surface that they'll be playing on come February. You know, that could actually be out of the window by now. That could actually be gone. And I find it quite unfortunate because a camp would have done Jamaica so well. It would have been the best thing, the best thing for us. But unfortunately, things haven't panned out the way that it should. And the JFF made a decision to suspend Hubert Busby over allegations of sexual abuse. The thing for me is that these are still allegations. We have absolutely zero evidence. Zero evidence that it is true. These are still allegations. And in my opinion, you are innocent until proven guilty. So unless you can show some video evidence, some text message, some photo that Busby did what he's what what people are saying that he did, then it's basically my word against yours. But you can understand what what the JFF did. I personally wouldn't have suspended him. I would wait until the investigation was done before carrying out the decision. And we've still carried on with the camp in November and the World Cup qualifiers in February. That's me personally, because we're still in a situation where we don't know if this is factual. Coach Busby said that he, Coach Busby has denied all of these things vehemently. So I'm going to trust him. He's, a, he's, he's, he's our coach. He's a Jamaican. I'm going to support him where, where this is concerned. If it turns out to be true that what these allegations are saying, well, like everything else in life, you know, you you do something against the law, then you pay the price, you, you pay your dues. But until then, until we know for sure that this was actually factual, I just I'm just thinking about the girls and what this could mean for them. Because Busby has been such an, a positive influence, got the style of play finally going like how he wanted them to do. A lot of the girls that have been called up in the squad, Busby actually brought them into the national program. So I fear, honestly, I fear for the future of, of some of these players, especially Tiffany Cameron, who has been a staple in the national program since 2019, because this is one of Jamaica's best players, hands down. And let me just put it this way. she She's an asset. So I worry about her inclusion moving forward, whoever the coach may be. Havana Salone, Marla Sweatman, Chinyela Asher, and company. So 
in the meantime, if you were to have an interim, people might ask, well, who would it be? Personally, I would go with an individual by the name of Charles Edwards, Charlie Edwards. Multiple winning coach with Barbican in the Women's League. I've worked with this guy as an analyst on numerous different World Cup panels and football matches. And let me say, every time this man speaks, I'm keen to listen to what he has to say because the knowledge that he has is absolutely brilliant, especially in relation to the women's game. How he's able to break down the plays, how he's able to tell you what each position will demand, especially from a Jamaican standpoint. I think it's brilliant. The JFF have not contacted him at this point. Do I think that they will? Personally speaking, if he has a CONCACAF degree, then yes. If he doesn't, then no. But personally, if, if you're going to have somebody in for a couple of months to keep the ship steady, heading into the qualifiers, get the players into a good physical condition, Charlie Edwards is the man. He doesn't only talk the talk, but he also walks the walk as well. Trust me. And there's no other man that I would want to, to lead the national team. I rate Xavier Gilbert highly. I really do. And I have the utmost respect for him as well. I have the utmost respect for Marin Gordon for the work that he's done as well from, from his under-17 days with the reggae girls. But Charlie Edwards has, you could say, been there, done that. He's... He's coached in the United States. He's coached some of the best young players in the United States that have gone on to be national players for the United States women's soccer team. He knows what it's like and the demands that it will bring. And I feel that a person of his caliber, at least for three months, would be of benefit in the absence of Hubert Busby. Charles Edwards is a absolute genius genius i wouldn't want any other man to to lead the ship let xavier gilbert learn from his craft from charlie there i'm sure there's more that he can learn i think xavier gilbert is blossoming well as a coach i respect vin blaine for all that he has done as well for women's football and basically opening up doors for women in this country to play football but for now, as we try to steady the ship from hitting an iceberg or alleged iceberg, Charles Edwards, for me, is the man for right now. In the past, he has spoken and he said that he has to eat. So once he's compensated well, then he'll be more than happy to represent his country and lead them. For your boys, for your girls fans. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content.